What's going on guys, I'm War Tank. Welcome back to another video commentary on the game Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Playing some domination on the map drone, rocking out the PDW 57. And let's just get into it. The best score streak setup. Got 99 kills and 9 deaths in this gameplay. Uh, so the kill streaks or score streak that I'm running in this game is an AGR, Stealth Chopper, and Warthog because I've learned that it's really beneficial to yourself if you do not take yourself out of the action. And what do I mean by that? I mean, if like if you call in a load star or a veto warship, uh, you're taking yourself out of the action. And by having an AGR just roam around on the ground, you have ground support, you got a stealth chopper in the air, you know, hovering over everybody, killing people, and then you got the Warhog uh, making strafe runs back and forth like four times, I think. Um, so that's you have these three kill streaks getting kills for you and then you're on the ground too so I mean you're like invincible right now and you know you get you just rack and stack kills um, AGR is on the ground like I said stealth choppers in the air and then you got the warthog going back and forth four times over and then you're on the ground cleaning everybody else up getting people out of the buildings um, you know spawn trapping if you want to do that uh, so I mean you just like I said racking and stacking kills here so that's that in my opinion is the best uh, score chain to run in Black Ops 2 just because you know you're not taking yourself out of the action pretty high uh, score streak especially if you play objective game modes like domination it's you know cap those flags I got like a 500 bonus just for standing on the flag trying to capture the flag and I got like two kills and that helped me get the warthog and the uh, stealth chopper uh, at the end because I was about to die I killed two people and then you know they spawned by me so I ended up getting the warthog and the stealth chopper so I mean I, I called that in and then once you just get those kills uh, yeah, it's just recycle you know your AGR is getting kills your stealth chopper is getting kills your strife runs coming in back and forth getting kills you're getting kills capping flags you know all that adds up again and then the same life you end up getting your same three kill streaks all over again so you know in my opinion this is the best score streak setup and the perks, I kind of slowed down a little bit. I should have been a little bit more aggressive and tried capping the Charlie flag right here. I mean, I didn't go for it because I thought there was, I saw a guy shooting back here. I'm not sure if somebody killed him or if he ran into the building. So I should have capped the Charlie flag a little bit slow. I did get 99 kills and 9 deaths in this gameplay. Um, I should have been just a little bit more aggressive and should have went for those flags. Made people come to me instead of trying to find people. I don't. I mean, I was slacking at the beginning half of the round, and but the, the second round, you know, I really stepped up my game, got those kill streaks uh, over and over again, and we did end up winning uh, this second round. So that made up for it. Um, now, in my opinion, PDW57 is probably the best um, gun you w want to run with this. Uh, set up especially on a close quarters map like drone um, quick draw is very helpful you know pulling up your aim your sights fast enough in case somebody's far away and then if you have a suppressor you want to stay off the radar the perks uh, this this gameplay is kind of old so I'm still trying to I was at the time you know still messing around with perks and at the time it, I, I thought toughness was good but in the second tier you would probably want to run scavenger uh, just for the fact that you're going to be shooting a lot of people, getting those high kill streaks, and you're going to be going through uh, ammunition pretty fast. So you want to run Scavenger. Ghost is another good one, but you, if you're not, if they're not getting kills, you're killing them, so that's going to keep their radar down. So you, you know, Ghost really isn't necessary if you have a suppressor on your gun. And then um, having. Um, full metal jacket's pretty nice too. Shoot the people through the wall if you want the uh, three attachments on your guns. Um, that also helps. And then for the third tier perks, I recommend having tactical mass just for the fact that you know the um, stun grenades, EMP grenades. I wrote, you're not invincible to those. You're still getting EMP'd. Um, but shock charges as well. People love throwing those down with Betty, so you will actually be able to get over the shock charge pretty quickly. If you have tack mask on, so I recommend running that. And um, flag jacket is another good one if you want to run that as well. Uh, that's just what I've learned so far for as far as perks go. Uh, but the round's coming to an end now. And one thing I want to talk about real quick is I know this is my first video back uh, in about a week. I'm sorry for that. Um, I've just been kind of lazy doing some other stuff. But now I'm going to just update you guys 
for the second half of this video about what's going on with my channel. Um, first off, I'm going to... I'm not going to stop the Let's Debate series, but I'm going to change it to uh, Subscriber Question. Uh, just because, you know, I don't want to, you know, try and get all these topics that are, you know, sensitive, like politics and stuff like that, you know, to actually debate. Maybe further down the future, maybe might, I might start doing stuff like that. But um, when I started the Let's Debate, I kind of just wanted to ask you guys questions. So I'm just, I'm going to leave the Let's Debate alone for a little bit and change it to Monday's, you know, subscriber question. I'm just going to ask you guys questions like, how do you feel about this? What do you think about this? Um, your favorite class setup and so on and so forth, with, you know, variety of games. And, you know, I'm just going to change it to subscriber question instead of doing the Let's Debate thing. So that's one. And then I'm going to start uploading videos on my other channel, Take It From A Pro, once a week now. I stopped for about a month uh, before Black Ops 2 came out, and I'm going to get back on top of that. Uh, basically what the other channel is for is just to help you guys get better at video games, uh, specifically Call of Duty. And I'm going to start back up with Black Ops 2, and if you would like me to do some Medal of Honor gameplay, you know, I'll do that. Um, Diablo, StarCraft. Uh, I'm not the best at those games, but if you do want my input on, you know, some gear uh, or gold finding runs you know what's the best location to do that you know I'll help you out there you know give you some feedback on that if you would like that so go on you don't have to subscribe subscribe to the channel uh, but if you would like to you know find some hints and tricks and you know whatnot on the game I'm playing or games I'm playing you know just head on over there and watch those videos so that'll be in there the link will be in the description so you can also check that out and then, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, leave a comment if you would like to participate in one of my series that I have. Is I changed it. It was just a requested gameplay. I changed it to Am I Pro Yet? And basically, what I'm doing with this is like you leave a comment with the entire class setup, kill streak or score streak, um, guns, weapons, attachments, perks, the whole nine yards. So leave a comment with the whole class description. I'll go into a game, play a game record it, bring it back to you guys, and tell you what my thoughts were on that specific class setup, and, you know, what I would do if I was going to use it again, what I would change, or what I would keep the same. So that's there for some extra uh, video footage. If you want to leave a class in the comment section, you know, go ahead and do that. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but now, moving on, I'm going to be more active on Twitter and Facebook. Facebook, I'm going to start uploading after game reports on my fan page and answer questions if you have any on Twitter. I'll uh, be on Twitter more often than I have in the past, you know, answering questions, uh, talking to you guys a, li a little bit more, uh, so on and so forth. And then for montages, I want to get this, I want to clear this up with you guys. Montages, I, don't, I do not create a lot of montages just for the fact that I do not have the skills or tools to do so. I don't have the programs to, you know, get the lighting effects um, and all those other uh, animations in there that you see a lot of other people do with the montage. Basically, I only have Windows Live Movie Maker, and, you know, I, I do the best I can with that. Put some effects in there, lighting effects. Uh, not, there's not really a lot of lighting effects, but, you know, fade in, fade out. Uh, I'll add some music and just cut the clips in, in pieces and get the best gameplay I can. Uh, for my montage, but that's that's what I do, and that's cleared up now. So there's gonna be more game nights as well, and then I'll um, put the videos to follow sh shortly after there. So you're gonna see the game night, and then I'll replay, and then we'll I'll upload the video later on um, in the week or something like that. So if you wanna stay tuned and be updated with the the game nights, you know, view my Steam page, view the group, be in there, and I'll have the updates in in the uh, Steam group. And the voices is coming back and I'm going to do some Let's Plays. I'll have all these other series coming on shortly. Uh, so if you want to you know, stay tuned for that, that'd be awesome. If you check that out. I have the playlist. I have playlists set up so if you missed a video, they're going to be in the playlist. And you can just check that out. So if you missed like, the voices, it's going to be in there. If you missed the gameplay or live gameplay, it's going to be in there. Uh, so that, that's all sorted out so you can get that easily. And I would have had the two or 100 kill mark right here, but the game ended. We had all three flags and it went to 200. I still had like 23 seconds left. I would have got one more kill to make 100, but that's that's that. But of course, guys, I'm gonna upload more videos soon. Sorry for like the week off, no videos. 
Um, so thank you so much for watching, guys. And more tank. And of course, as always, in the meantime, have a great time fragging.